if I would. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. But like, as you can see a little bit, if I'm being realistic, <laughs> number one, I don't need any of these clothes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's I'm in here and I am back with another try on haul. I feel like it's been so long since I did one. It's probably last year around springtime and I'm back with Old Navy size 12 clothes. I absolutely freaking love Old Navy. Like to give me one person that doesn't love Old Navy. Um, and I'm really excited to be buying some new clothes, which I obviously do not need. But I was just like in the mood, right? To like do a little bit of a spring refresh. And I'm hoping some of these things I can wear to Miami for my bachelorette trip. And so I bought a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. We have some rompers, we have shorts, we have jumpsuits, we have dresses. I hope my legs are not too ashy because they have not seen the sun in quite some time. But I'm obviously gonna be trying on everything for you and then giving you my honest opinions. Let's get into it. So the first item is this linen top. It's supposed to be a corset style with like these ties on the top. And I did size up in this, I got an extra large, which is why it's a little bit loose on me. And that was probably just because they were sold out of the large, but it is so, so comfortable. And obviously like for the bachelorette, I'm wearing white a lot of the time. And I'm actually very scared of wearing white because I'm a messy person. But this is like really comfortable. It has like that adjustable stretchy back. So it's really comfortable. It doesn't like suck you in. Could I have gone for a large? I absolutely think I could have. I will keep my eye out if I can exchange it. I just checked the website and they're still sold out of the large. So if anything, I am totally, totally down to keep this because number one, number one okay number one is comfortable number two i'm wearing a whole bra underneath and you cannot tell and like for anybody who has a bigger chest that is like a huge huge plus so like i'm cute and i'm wearing a bra like hello so i will put the prices of everything down below and the links to things that are still available everything on old navy like do not buy it ever at regular price because they will always go on sale when i bought this stuff i think it was like an additional 40 percent off of their already reduced prices because they were having some like spring sale situation so never buy anything a regular price unless like you need it like right away but this definitely definitely keeping it's such a cute summer staple think about it with some shorts with some denim shorts with skirts you can kind of wear this with like okay next up we have this rib knit tank top and like what the heck it is so cute i'm pretty sure i just threw this into my cart because it was like six dollars literally six dollars and it was in my size and yeah six dollars like i'm not even joking it is so flattering i love square necklines like this or like rounded square red necklines like this and it's not too cropped so here's my belly button and it sits like right on top of it i can totally see myself wearing this again with shorts you can wear it under cardigans you can layer it like an airport outfit this is an airport outfit and i'm just like really happy <laughs> with it um i have been leaning towards more neutrals in the last year or so i think it's just a trend like browns beiges whites they're all like really on trend and this is super comfortable you can see up close there is that ribbing effect going on and we're off the bank okay changing up the angle a little bit we have some linen shorts and i absolutely love this color it's like a what do we call it dusty lavender or something the only thing i will say i bought it in a size large and i'm a pretty true like size 12 at old navy but they're like bunching i don't know if you can tell it's like a little bit uncomfortable um there are like they're stretchy in the back and but i absolutely love this length like no chug rub for me but i think i would have to size up in this one so maybe i'll keep an eye out for it if it goes on sale again which it 100 will um but i'm just like you can tell right like i'm like uncomfortable <laughs> in this like Maybe you can't tell. I don't think you can tell actually, but it is like riding up in there. The other thing I will say is I'm wearing black underwear. I kind of did that on purpose to see if these would be see-through and you cannot see a thing. Are these pockets real? They're fake. That's okay. These pockets are real. But yeah, if you're getting these ones, I would totally size up just so they're more comfy. But in terms of the length, the comfort, the color, thumbs up for me next up we have this romper that i was so excited about but i do think 
I need to size up in it. So it was kind of hard to get on to be honest because there's no zipper or anything so I'll just like pull it up on my body. Um, but it is really stretchy in the back so that's how it worked out. The reason why I think I need to, you can tell why I need to size up, like look, I'm just like styling like a normal person and it is like just, yeah. Um, the real issue here is my proportions, like you can see my bra and I'm not going to apologize for it because I have to wear it, but you can see like it, this is just like a little bit too low. It's really cute as like a cover up for example because it is a little bit see through. You can even tell from where like the pockets are double lined and again, love the length like for Trump bra. This is a Miami vibe for sure, but I do think I need to, you can even see like my neck is just like not happy and then I need to size up in this one too and it'll just give me more space like in this area and then even more space in the chest area I think that would be very much appreciated but like this is cute you guys like I don't know what's going on this is very very cute so this is the next dress that I have it is a rib knit like midi dress with a slit on the side and I actually bought this in two different colors. This is obviously the brown color. This is the softest dress I have ever put on my body, but it was very difficult to put on because there is a layer underneath. Um, so this layer was like going this way and this way and bunching up and everything, but it is so soft, so comfortable. So this is obviously a strapless situation. Like I would not be able to wear this bra, but oh my God, and I'm obviously not wearing like any shapewear or anything underneath. Usually I would wear like bike shorts to like avoid the chub room situation, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I am very sensitive about this area of my body like in general. And so wearing something like this without wearing shorts underneath is making me mildly uncomfortable, but I like it. The fabric itself and the dress itself is very, very, very comfortable. Like I said, like I could eat a whole bowl of pasta, maybe even two in this dress because it's so, so comfortable. It's material, it does not cling to your body or anything like that. I have it in a cream color as well. So let's try on that one. I think I got the hang of putting this one on because it was so much easier this time around. So this is the cream color. I'm kind of like blending into my wall. And I think you can see a little bit more here, like where the lining cuts off and like where the slit is and everything like that. And again, tummy area. If I'm being realistic, <laughs> number one, I don't need any of these clothes. Number two, I would wear the brown one more often, but obviously this is like, you know, like Miami vibe, but I don't know if I would wear it again after that because again, I'm scared to wear white. But also, I already have a dark brown dress, um, but I don't know. Like, if I were to keep one of them, which one do you think I should keep? Should I don't need? I don't need both. I don't need both. Um, but like, they're so nice and so comfortable. You could totally dress this down, right? You could just wear like a denim jacket on top. You can wear a like leather jacket on top. You could wear them with sneakers, like no jacket on top, just sneakers. And you can dress it up, right? Like, I could totally just wear heels with this and like do my hair and makeup, and then I would look like I'm ready to go somewhere nice. Um, I don't know, guys. I need help. Please let me know your thoughts below. Should I keep one, none, or both? I actually have a pair of sandals I'm gonna try on with this dress. They're like really cute leather two strap sandals, double strap. I sized down in them. I don't remember why. I'm sure because it said on the reviews, two size. Oh my God, they're so cute. You can see my butt in the back, but oh my God. Whew. These are so cute, super comfortable. Let me show you a close up because this angle sucks. Okay, so these are the sandals on. Oh my god, you guys, like this is perfect. Look at that size, mm, perfect. And they're so comfortable and they're actually like, like they expand. Cause I have pretty wide feet, but they're they have a little bit of stretch in them, which is awesome. This is such a cute outfit. Next up, I have this maxi slip dress and it's really outside of my comfort zone because I'll show you the print up close, but I'm not. A print girl it's like this brown animal print and I thought it would be cute like as a cover-up and it really is cute like the back has like this little tie-up detail on it it has slits on the side so it's like optimal for walking around and with those sandals <laughs> super cute but 
I just don't know like if I would, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, but like I just don't know if it like fits 100% like in my hip area, like the hip is a little bit prominent, but I think that's also like a permanent issue I'm gonna have, like there's a little bit of bunching going on over here, actually yeah. Like if you look at it closely, there's a little bit of bunching going on over here and that's like restricting my tummy area. So I don't think this is like a bowl of pasta type of dress. Um, so I don't know if I want to keep it if I'm not like 100% in love with it. And I did go out of my comfort zone for this pattern, but what do you guys think? Like it is something new for me, but I don't want to keep it just for the sake of keeping it if I'm never going to wear it, you know? Another one outside my comfort zone. This is a polka dotted jumpsuit and this is a no for me. <laughs> like I am just not comfortable in this, like with the amount of cleavage that I'm showing. It is a really nice length, I will say that. And I am like pretty short, I'm like 5'3". So the length is good, the fabric is good, but I just think like it's just not, like if I try to pull this up, which I cannot first of all, but if I were to pull it up, then it really like tugs on my back situation here like this part gets tugged and you can adjust it which is really nice like these straps I could just like tie them to be tighter but I just don't think this is for me and obviously I would not be able to wear a bra underneath so I would have to like either wear a swimsuit or a strapless or I can never go braless but if that's you then you do you and again I'm just not a polka dot person so this one I think is a no for me. Cotton regular bike shorts. I just need to replace the ones that I had, which were from, I think, American Eagle or Airy. Um, but these are just like the six inch ones. The band is a little bit thicker, which is nice. It's like here, this is how thick it is. Um, let's do squat test. Um, I would say they mostly pass. You can see a little bit of the outline, but not too bad before like your basic either wearing that like an oversized t-shirt or wearing under dresses like this is a really good option and let's go to my final thoughts okay i apologize for the lighting situation the weather is being moody and that is it but from now on i'm living in this shirt in this tank top i am very impressed <laughs> with what i got there were some issues like with my proportions or my sizes um which happens and it's like not like it just happens right depending on the product um like rompers jumpsuits are a little bit more difficult for me because my torso is shorter but like my hips are bigger and my chest is bigger so that's where most of the fabric goes towards i don't really have high expectations for rompers or jumpsuits but there were a few really 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 good things in this haul and the ones that i'm thinking about sizing up or sizing down for i am gonna keep my eyes out because like i said well, maybe we'll have another sale. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you were thinking about buying any of these products, they were all honestly very, very good quality. And Old Navy is amazing because they, again, are affordable, but they're also pretty size inclusive. A lot of the times their models will model the different sizes as well. So I'm a size 12 and they often show like a size four, a size 12, a size 16. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like on people that have different bodies than yours. Um, and I did go into this like expecting some things to work out and some things not to work out. So I am very happy with what I've gotten. I have already been putting in other orders for other things at other places for all of my trips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me do more, let me know. I also post like reels and YouTube shorts of other stores. So I just posted an H&M one before this video goes up and I was very impressed with H&M as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, whether that be fashion, whether that be lifestyle, wedding related stuff, or even genetic counseling stuff, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.